Hello everyone, we are Pandora Bots. Thank you for choosing us and warm welcome to your eighth and last video of this playlist for chatbot development with AIML 2.0. In this video, we will discuss about conditions. Condition elements are used to create if then else type of flow within bots response. Suppose human asks, do you find me attractive? Well, there are two ways of dealing with it. If the person is of male gender, then we would return, I find you very handsome. Otherwise, we would return, I find you very pretty. Well, the syntax for condition is, we would check if the gender variable is set. If the gender variable is of male type, then we would enclose it in list tag and we would return the response. Same goes with the female. For setting up the gender variable, I have created another category and to work with this, let's see. It would respond noted. Also note that for this, I have enclosed my set tag inside think tag so that it would display in the chatbot widget. So if I ask. The bot would return, I find you very handsome. And suppose if I say, and all right, I hope you guys had fun. Well, there are few other tags left. If you want to explore more, please check out our documentation. Also, this playlist was a basics with AIML 2.0. We are working on new playlist for advanced chatbot development. So what's in the next series? We will be working on Pandora Bots API and its deployment with Pandora Bots landing page. We will also see how we can integrate this chat widget in your personal website and integrate your chatbot with all the deployment channels shown here. In addition, we will try to cover different SDKs with Node.js and Java. Java SDK will be a default template for Android application so that you can have your own programmed Android application with your own programmed chatbot. It's very exciting and fascinating. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing and above all, keep loving Pandora bots. I'll see you next time.